Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this story, I'm going to cover how a group of hackers made $5 million a day. So without further ado, let's get right into it. A group of Russian criminals were making between $3 million to $5 million every day in the brazen attack on the advertising market. Uh, the, security f- the security firm White Ops claimed uh, today... It's the biggest digital ad fraud ever uncovered and perpetuated by faking clicks on video ads, the company said. The crew, which White Ops dubbed ad fraud, Commanda or F or, or AFK-13, planned their uh, machinations and meticulous detail. Wait a minute. First, they created more than 6,000 domains and 250,267 distinct URLs within those that appear to belong to real big name publishers from ESPN to Vogue. But all that could be hosted on the page was a video ad. With fake domain registrations, they were able to trick algorithms that decided where the most profitable ads would go into buying their fraudulent web space. These algorithms typically made bids for ad space most suitable for the advertisement's intended audience. No way! With the auction complete in milliseconds, but AFK13 were able to game the system uh, so their space was purchased over big name brands. AFK13 then invested heavily in a bot farm, taking up space in data centers so they could fire faked traffic from more than 570,000 bots at those ads, thereby driving revenue thanks to the pay-per-click system they exploited. As part of the white ops called the meth bot campaign, these bots watched as many as 300 million video ads per day. With an average payout of $13.04 per thousand faked videos, I mean faked views, sorry. And the fraudsters had their bot army replicate the actions of real people with faked clicks, mouse movements, and social network login information. That's weird. Uh, Some serious technical effort went into the illegal campaign too, as the cruise hackers reverse engineered ad quality verification processes and determine how to pass off the impressions and as legitimate, according to a white paper released today by White Ops, to make those bots appear more real and thereby bypass normal anti-fraud detection measures, the group obtained hundreds of thousands of IP addresses and associated them with major US internet providers so it looked like they were based in American homes. You see the level of detail, right? These IP addresses were fraudulently obtained uh, from at least two of the world's five regional internet registries. White Ops began tracking the activity back in September 2015 when it saw unique bot traffic passing over a customer's network. It wasn't until October 2016 when MethBot went into full swing, however. It's unclear whether the Russian link comes from Eddie, Eddie, I'm not even going to say your last name, Eddie, sorry, you know, I'm not trying to. Have words beat me up. <laughs> Chief operating officer at White Ops told me the company found links between the data centers and the unique signals used by the hackers. He couldn't provide more details for fear of revealing too much about White Ops methods. Nevertheless, he claimed to have direct attribution for those behind the crime. We have zero doubt that this group based in Russia, it's a single group. We've actually been working with federal law enforcement for weeks now, uh, Eddie said. The ad buyers were losing big time. Those spending money on the automated systems are losing significant sums, not just from MethBot, but from other similar campaigns. Those funds might never be retrieved, however. That's part of the challenge, uh, Eddie said, noting that there were prosecutions that were possible in the Western nations money has been recovered historically it's been challenging to get cooperation with russia to prosecute cyber related crimes white ops said it provided the information to law enforcement which was investigating it didn't say which agency uh gear an ad fraud expert and cto at source point technologies said it should be possible to shut afk 13 out of the ad market 
All actors in a bidding ecosystem are known and have uh, contractual business relationships. This isn't a dark web of anonymous buyers and sellers added um, gear, right? Who reviewed White Ops findings prior to publication. I think the key will be ensuring that information like that White Ops has found gets broadly disseminated and that other actors in the ecosystem work closely to help each other follow the money and enforce shunning of bad actors. Worryingly, the fraud could be even bigger than reported today because White Ops is only able to analyze data directly observed by White Ops. The total ongoing monetary losses within the greater advertising ecosystem may be exponentially greater, the company wrote in its white paper. At this point, the meth bot operation has become so embedded in the layers of the advertising ecosystem, the only way to shut it down to make the details public to help affected parties need to take action, right? So this is a, this is, wow, I mean, who would have thought fake ads can generate such huge revenue? What, what, what is your opinion on this matter? How, what, what action do you think should be taken to minimize the profits that these bad actors are doing? I want to know your opinion. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.